let's solve this using three more methods we have solved it before with a different method you can go and check if you did not watch that video so we still have extra three methods we can use to get the value of a now 30 is the area of this side 35 is the area of this side okay and this is not drawn to scale from here to here is 11 and from here to here is 10. all right i want us to note that let the length of this place be b small b okay and we've already named the height h okay now note that if we say that the area of this place is 30 and the height is h okay so we are going to have something like this h this is the area okay so that means that this remaining portion remember that the area is the length times the breadth okay so if we call this length x so x times h x times h is equal to 30 all right so it means that x is 30 over h so i can write this place as 30 divided by h similarly this place will be 35 divided by h okay now let us get an equation to that effect so we can say that since from here to here is 10 that simply means that 30 over h plus b is equal to 10 let's call this equation one similarly 35 over h plus b okay is equal to 11 let's call this equation two now equation one minus equation two we will have 30 over h minus 35 over h b minus b is zero will be equal to 10 minus 11 which is minus one so we have common denominator and this will be 30 minus 35 is equal to minus one so if we cross multiply we have minus h is equal to 30 minus 35 which is minus 5. let's divide through by minus 1. we will have that h is equal to 5. okay now let us use either equation 1 or equation 2 to get the value of b then we solve for the area all right so but from 1 30 divided by h which is 5 plus b is equal to 10. now let's multiply both sides by 10 okay all right the lcm is 5 so let's multiply through by 5 multiply by 5 so we are going to have 30 over 5 multiplied by 5 is 30 plus 5b is equal to 50. So let's take this to this side. We have 5b is equal to 50 minus 30. So 5b is equal to 20. Then b is equal to 20 over 5, which is 4. So now we have h to be equal to 5 and b to be equal to 4. Now a, the area is b times h. So area is b, which is 4 times h which is five so this will give you 20 units squared okay just like we found using the first method now let us do the second method the second method now the second method is this we can say that this is 30 okay and from here to here is 10. so 10 times the height that is if we are taking the area 
from here to here, right? So it should be 10 times the height. So we have 10 h is equal to 30 plus a, right? 30 plus a. Let's call this equation one. Similarly, we have that 11 times the height, 11 h is equal to 35 plus a. 35 plus a. This is equation two. Now let's subtract. If we do that, we have minus h is equal to minus 5. So that means h is equal to 5. Now we have found h. This is very easy, right? The second one, this method. But we have that 10 h is equal to 30 plus a. So we have 10 multiplied by 5 because our h is 5 is equal to 30 plus a. So we have 50 is equal to 30 plus a. Let's transfer this to this side. If we do that, we have 50 minus 30 is equal to a. So we have 20 units squared is equal to a. So we still got 20 as our answer again. <laughs> Okay, have you given us a thumbs up? If not, please do. Okay, thank you very much. Now, the last but not the least method. We are told that the area is 30. And we said let the height be H and this place be B. Okay? And from here to here is 10. Now, A can be gotten by getting the equation for h okay now let us get equation for h if we consider this particular rectangle the area should be the height which is h times 10 okay so 10 h should be equal to 30 plus a that means h is 30 plus a divided by 10 all right now also also here the whole of the length which is h multiplied by the height which is h the whole of the length which is 11 multiplied by the height which is h so we have 11 h is equal to 35 plus a So H is equal to 35 plus A divided by 11. Now we have these two equations for H. So that simply means that we can write that 35 plus A divided by 11 is equal to 30 plus A divided by 10. Because both of them are equal to H. Okay? So let me write this here. So we have 30 plus A divided by H is equal to, sorry, 35 plus A divided by 11 is equal to 30 plus A divided by 10. Let's cross multiply. We have 10 multiplied by 35 plus A is equal to 11 multiplied by 30 plus A. 10 times 35 is 350. 10 times A is 10A is equal to 11 times 30 is equal to 330. 11 times A is equal to 11A. Now, let's bring this to this side and take this to the other side. So, we have 350 minus 
330 is equal to 11A minus 10A. Now, 350 minus 330 is 20 is equal to 11A minus 10A is A. And this is what we are asked to find, right? <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Thank you and God bless you. See you in my next video.